Washing and drying your hands in the bathroom, rarely do we give it a second thought. But one Chicago entrepreneur is doing just that, and as he puts it, trying to intellectualize the bathroom. Any idea ballpark what you spend on paper here? Uh, between both bathrooms, probably $4,200. George Campbell is on a mission to change minds about paper towels. Last summer, he founded Net Dryers, a Chicago-based online distributor of hand dryers after spending five years at Dyson launching and marketing its Airblade. We met Campbell recently at the Signature Room on the 95th floor of the John Hancock Center to talk about his new business and how two decades in corporate America shaped him as an entrepreneur. Why did you start this entrepreneurial venture? What opportunity did you see out there? I saw an opportunity where organizations in America today should be, by all logic, growing the hand dryer industry. It's a growing industry. It's been growing pretty solid for the last five to ten years. But at the same time, it's not growing nearly as fast enough as it should be, given the value proposition of reducing carbon footprint and saving money for an organization. Campbell estimates there are roughly 30 million bathrooms away from home in the United States, and 90 to 95 percent of them only have paper towels in them. He puts the current U.S. hand dryer market at about $200 million, but says it should be twice that size. His argument? Hand dryers are relatively cheap to install, low maintenance, and sustainable. It's an argument he made to the upscale signature room, which installed air blades in their bathrooms. Why did they want to install a hand dryer and get rid of paper towels, which I don't see any here? Yeah, you know, with the new technology hand dryers, they've made the customer experience so much better. You can put them in uh, to places like this, and they get the cost savings, they get the sustainability, and the experience people have with them is one that is not so negative as the, as the way they had it with the old hand dryers that took you 40 seconds to get your hands dry. Net Dryer's biggest challenge? Making a name for itself among bigger competitors. We're trying to provoke people that are in facilities positions or sustainability positions to think about this issue. And when they think about this issue, we want to show up as a thought leader and someone that's got the best prices you can get. We also want to be seen as sort of the consultant to them to help them think through not the question of should I put in hand dryers or paper towels, and not the question of which hand dryer I should pick, but rather, if I want to save 70% on my costs in my bathrooms, how do I do it? Customers like Chicago bar owner Patrick Feagan, who expects to save more than $3,000 a year by installing hand dryers. The paper towels will jam, they'll run out, uh, the machine will open up by itself. It's just a lot of headaches. So this is a simple concept. It's self-contained, it takes care of itself. Before Campbell spent his days talking bathrooms, he worked as an independent consultant and as an executive at Navistar. What are the biggest lessons that you learned as a consultant that you are employing with net dryers? I think as a consultant you learn to ask a lot of questions and you learn to quickly analyze them and condense them into an intellectualized thought that makes sense for people. Because a lot of times when you're a consultant, you end up giving people back what they already wanted anyways. And then the fact that you work with a lot of different industries. I, I get to work with schools and universities. Well, they have a very different thought process and goals and objectives than, say, a manufacturing plant does or a restaurant bar does. Campbell is looking to grow net dryers but not expecting a buyout or initial public offering. He structured debt rather than equity for his few investors. He hopes to add workers in the next year if sales pick up. What's been the toughest thing for you about being an entrepreneur? Our biggest challenge today is finding a way for customers to know we're there and to know we exist and to know what differentiates us. Campbell is hoping to stand out with research and information on his blog, where he recently posted that paper towels are a $2.5 billion business nationwide. So how does he feel about paper towels? I still like paper towels as much as the next person does. It's just that it makes no sense to me that we can't look at them from a balanced standpoint and say, how do we reduce the usage of them? This is Lisa Leiter for Crane Chicago Business.